Aston Villa fans, I'm going to be reacting again to today's game, Newcastle, Aston Villa. I'm going to be bringing you stats and I want your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. But before we get into today's video, you know the drill by now, 100 likes. If we can hit 100 likes on this video, it would be much, much appreciated. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get in to today's video. So Aston Villa versus Newcastle United. We're going to react to some of the stats. Now, these stats don't tell... Um, in my opinion, the full picture, because Aston Villa were very, very dominant and uh, consistent throughout the 90 minutes, in my opinion. Yes, they had a blip with that uh, challenge from Martinez on Wilson, of which Martinez was extremely lucky to still be on that pitch. Aston Villa fans, you're watching this video, that's not up for debate. He should have got sent off in reality. But let's take a look at some of the stats. 47% uh, possession for Aston Villa. 53% possession for Newcastle. Again, doesn't tell the full picture. Although, Aston Villa were very good on the counter-attack today. Shots, 10 for Aston Villa, 9 for Newcastle. Quite even there in regards to uh, shots taken. But obviously, Aston Villa were more clinical. Yes, one of them were a penalty. But um, Aston Villa were far more clinical. Shots on target again. Two for Aston Villa and one for Newcastle. It's pretty close again. Out of 10 shots, only two on target for Aston Villa. Yes, it shows creativity in creating those chances. In terms of clinical, yes, Aston Villa were more clinical than Newcastle. But uh, I think they've got to take a few more of those chances, obviously, to progress forward. In terms of corners, it was three for Aston Villa, four for Newcastle. And fouls. We all know about Aston Villa. You're watching this video right now as an Aston Villa fan. Aston Villa draw quite a lot of fouls. Um, but it was 8 for Aston Villa and 18 fouls conceded by Newcastle. So the game ended 2-0. It was a fantastic performance from Newcastle as stated. In my opinion, one of the standout players, and, and not many people are touching on him, are Tyrone Mings. He was really, really good in the game. Obviously, we're going to remember this game from the Al Danny Ingso, Al Nino, the number nine, the acrobatic master Danny Ings. What a fantastic goal. Um, probably goal of the season for this season. I know we're early on in the season. I've said season about 15 times now, but it was a really amazing, amazing goal. Well taken from Danny Ings. And Aston Villa fans, there's going to be a lot more of where that came from. Believe me. So in my opinion, I think Aston Villa, they need to stay consistent now to challenge for Europa. I think the next run of games, they're all right for Aston Villa. They can get points from the next couple of games and wins. Leave me your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. I've been Scott. This is Total Football and I'll see you next time.